Welcome to an episode of Do Not Visit, a series where I talk about the places of A Game of Thrones, the A Song of Ice and Fire world you definitely don't want to visit. Ever. Well, I, I, I guess I can't make life decisions for you. you. You can do whatever you want. Idiot. This episode of Do Not Visit, I want to talk about the Shivering Sea. And you think, Roris, you crazy bitch, you can't do an entire sea. I can do whatever I want. The Shivering Sea is bounded to the west by Westeros, the north by the vast frozen wilderness of snow and ice called the White Waste, to east lands and seas unknown, and south by Essos. No one from the Seven Kingdoms has sailed further east than the Thousand Islands. But I don't want to talk about the entire Shivering Sea. I want to talk about what happens when you go too far north. So if you go too far north, you'll get frozen seas and mountains of ice that can crush the strongest ship, which probably shouldn't be sailing that far north, but if you did, besides the mountains of ice, there's the blizzards and terrifying screaming mountains. Yeah, I'm sure the mountains are screaming because of the wind, but you don't know. And there's even more terrifying tales of this area. There are stories that state the demon mother of the ice giants dances eternally through the night, creating strange lights shimmering in the sky. The demon mother is always trying to lure men northward to their doom. A dancing demon monster that creates freaky lights? That's scary. You know it, I know it. Then there's the pale blue mists that move across the waters and instantly freeze any ship they pass over. I don't even need to say anything about this or explain it with science. Even with science, it's fucking scary. Of course, if dancing demon mothers that lure you to your death and freeze mist doesn't frighten you, then there's the drowned spirits who rise at night to drag the living down into the depths. You're gonna tell me you're definitely not afraid of drowned spirits definitely trying to drown you as well, which by the way, would result in your death? If you said no, you're a fucking liar. Get the fuck out of here. All right, if a demon mother mist and drowned spirits hasn't deterred you from booking passage to the Northern Shivering Sea, what if I told you there are also evil mermaids? Evil mermaids of pale flesh and black scaled tails that will also drown you. Everyone wants to drown you in the northernmost shivering sea. The icing on the cake is there are also supposedly ice dragons in this area. Many times larger than the dragons of Valeria, they have pale blue crystal eyes, vast translucent wings through which you can see the moon and stars, and are said to be made of living ice. They breathe cold instead of fire that will freeze a man solid in half a heartbeat. An Archmaester believes all the talks of cold mists, ice ships, and so on are actually misreports of these ice dragons. Since they are said to melt when they are slain, no one has been able to bring one back as a pet. So I guess this one might just remain as a story. So you want to know what? It's up to you. If you want to go to the northern shivering sea and die from freezing mists, demon dancing mothers, killer mermaids, or drowned spirits, that's up to you, okay? Y you make your own life decisions. I, I give this 8 out of 10 nopes. No way I'm ever going here. Nope.